Good afternoon, UK. Yes, good afternoon. Yeah, it's not something for a vlog anyway. Like proof I've been in London and moving pictures. Alright, bits of a side track from Bavani stuff. I remember UK I just went to. I had a good friend of mine take care of me through central London and what a place that is. Went to all the horrible tourist traps, London Eye and so forth. But uh, at the end we went to a place called the Camden Town and that place is absolutely amazing. It's a... Uh, I might roll a few pictures here if I remember. But it, it, it's basically like one of those giant markets you see in like an African documentary or something except in the UK. Mil literally tens to hundreds of street vendors just selling all kinds of weird shit. I went to this weird ravey underground sex shop, basically. It was absolutely wonderful. Extreme, extremely exhausting, though. Riding the tube was a pain. It wasn't at all as fancy as I'd imagine it, imagined it to be. <sighs> but the infrastructure's okay. Buses worked fine. Tube worked fine. Got around quite easily. Although the roads inside of London were just insane. Very exhausting experience, I'm absolutely dead. Oh, I just made such a dumb mistake. I was f wondering why is it so warm in here? I mean, the fans are running. It's not warm outside, it's not sunny. It's, it's night. Why is it warm? And why do I have 12.4 volts in the battery? And uh, what I'd managed to do, since I knew I was running a bit low on battery, I turned off the ventilation and uh, sometime during the day uh, I've gone to fetch a water bottle out of the fridge. The power button for the fridge is on, on top of a lid and you have to lift the lid off to open it up. So I'd accidentally just went click, turned the fridge on and when, without noticing. And when I got out of the van, I just figured, oh yeah, we've got fan noise, the fans are running. But that was the fridge running. So this thing's been on for God knows how long. It's not super cool inside, but it's been on for a while. <laughs> and the, the ventilation was off, of course. So I've just been heating this place up with 50 watts. Oh well, that's going to freeze tonight. Alright, so I was feeling a faint smell of gas in the van a moment ago. And uh, I have noticed something. The quality of this thing isn't the best because the paint inside the gas connector is falling off. And I think that's caused just a minor leak. It was enough to, since I have this capped over, like it seemed to gather the gas a bit, and I just un until the stage where I could actually smell it. And it was coming from there. Uh, but it also took. Uh, the time to actually take this thing out and have a feel for how much gas I've got left since I saw some yellow flames but this thing is massive I've used almost no gas even though I've been cooking breakfast on this thing for all of all of my journey except for the long stops so that's good I've got more than enough gas to get me home uh, I could probably even heat the van with this gas without have running into issues try some of the paint uh, but yeah, going to reassemble this, clean it out a bit more, because that, that just looks so bad, really. Alright, it's 11 degrees inside here, it's late in the night, I got a horrible cold, I got fever, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't enough alcohol during the day to just calm my throat, that... Uh, it's part of the fact that it's 11 degrees in here, I'm just sitting in a fucking van in my undies. Because I'm fucking sick. Ugh. Ah. I'm using a pair of body heat to heat up the van. And to be absolutely clear to anyone who's uh, watching this, I'm, since I've drunk an alcohol, that key isn't going anywhere near the ignition. And uh, I actually booked a return ferry from the UK today, uh, or rather 
yesterday or something. And uh, that would have had me leaving tomorrow and just cancelled that and moved a couple of days forward. Because I'm not going to be driving anywhere while I'm sick. Especially not when I'm fucking drunk. Caravan vacationing. Oh, when I'm drunk, I'm like, that's only the only time I'm ever a nice person. I've also begun for the second day of being sick in the UK. Uh, I'm just capturing that magical moment in the morning when you go, oh, I, I don't feel so bad now. You know, just before you get up and realise that you're worse than yesterday. Well, I just figured I'd document the sheet changing procedure for this vehicle, so, uh, of course, the first thing you need to do is just rip everything on the bed, off the bed and just put in a big pile beside it, which is actually taller than the bed itself. And uh, then basically you get on the bed and just uh, spread the sheet out of the corners. And when you open that door and you poke it underneath the mattress and then you're done. IKEA light dimmer. Step one. Step two. Alright, it is now the 5th of October and we're about to leave London for France. There is leaving uh, quite a few hours but uh, I want to have proper big margins for getting there. So, the van's been sitting for about two weeks now. Let's see if it does nothing. That's a clock. Right, you then. We're going on the wrong side of the road. I'm going to try and find my way to Tesco's, but on water, well, we'll be on our way proper. These lanes make no sense at all. Not at all, they just merge and split and merge and split and merge and split and merge and split. I'm on a fucking M25 going in the right direction. Oh no. Where should I go? What? Okay. Just a quick search, switch off the engine, and I'm going to back to this. Short thing. Oh. Give me a moment, I've got to put my shoes on. Oh, yeah. Been driving since London. I'm not used to uh, the British, like when you're going the wrong side of the road. Oh. Messes with my mind. So, where are you going to? Uh, going to. Like a 2am ticket across to France and I'm going home back to Finland. Finland? Mm -hmm. Hello there, I'm quite early, leaving at 2 in the morning. Is it okay if I check in? Uh, can I see your booking number, please? Can you see it here? Because on the computer on the other seat. Okay, so what do I do? Uh, you will have to go, you will have to go and exit and come back after 10 o'clock. What is your type of vehicle? Uh, well, it's uh, a car, I guess. Uh, make? Uh, Nissan. 
I'm on this side. Oh, what? That's out here. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're coming back later or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming back later. I was a bit early. Okay. Through this barrier, turn to the left into the shed where you was before and I'll show you where to go then. Okay, okay. thank you. All right, and we are now finally at the David docks, waiting for a ferry. I uh, had a bit of a whoopsie before. I arrived uh, way too early, or rather, about one hour too early, and they just kicked me out. Wouldn't let, even let me wait around. I had to actually drive out of Dover because the, uh, the roads just lead straight out. Couldn't even find the town to take a break in. But, uh, long story short, I managed to get back around and it seems we're going to have a bit of a wavy tr trip today because uh, it's quite windy. Even the car's just wobbling about, sitting at the docks. I had a real issue when I went through customs the first time. <coughs> uh, because uh, they have you turn your engine off and what do you know, the bloody starter inhibitor decided to break at that exact moment so I had to reconnect the battery in order to actually get going again. Miraculous liver radio and it'll drop its memory from that. But we're on our way. We haven't killed anyone that we know of on the UK roads. Uh, it's weird seeing people drive around here. Round about to go the wrong way. <sighs> it's been a very nice stay. I haven't done a lot of particularly UK ish things. I haven't even tried fish and chips because it just doesn't really appeal to me. But I have had a great time with my friends, met some excellent people, seen some excellent places, and I'm starting to get slightly homesick. It's. Uh, Probably in part due to the fact that I'm sick, but it's been getting ever colder. Even here in the UK, it's been below 10 degrees in the night time, and in Sweden, it's supposedly uh, below freezing by now. So I'm probably gonna have to book my ferry to Sweden uh, from Denmark and uh, do Sweden in one day again. <laughs> uh, poor Sweden, we're just passing through. <sighs> yeah, that's far has been a very nice trip though. I've been on the road for pretty much an entire month. Living out of a van, taking a few breaks around people I know. Just generally having a nice time. One good thing that came out of my early arrival at reporters when I moved my booking forward to two hours was sort of leaving at the uh, two two o'clock in the morning ferry, but uh, they moved me forward to the midnight ferry. So that's very nice. I don't get to be on the road a bit earlier than I had anticipated. I might perhaps be able to drive somewhere in France, and I, I doubt it. Gonna still gonna be arriving like uh, two in the morning, three no three in the morning local time. So yeah, probably just gonna. Stop at the DFDS ferry parking lot and call the night. Then do like France to either Germany or Netherlands tomorrow, and then perhaps Germany to Denmark the day after that. See if we can stop by someone, and then we'll be in the home stretch. Book a ticket for Ekerlinjen. Going home. Up we go. 
go. 2.4 meters clearance should be all right. We're two point one. No gobbles are sharp. Please do not hit. Oh, oh Jesus. This vehicle has zero clearance above and zero clearance below. It's relatively long wheelbase and very, very low clearance for its type. Due to the fact that the engine is so bloody low. Okay, aboard! On our way to France! Ah, we didn't die! Oh, UK roads, thank goodness. Ah, I'm so relieved.